Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, the very lovely Emily um, was once again decluttering her makeup and she showed me a couple of palettes to see if I wanted to have a little play with, try them out. And one of the ones I chose was the e.l.f. Mad For Matte eyeshadow palette in the um, Jewel Pop collection one. So it's beautiful kind of colours. I feel like this is a great, would be a great palette for people who want to get introduced to colour. Because although the orange is quite bright, these are kind of not extremely bright colours. I mean, it's a colourful palette, but it's not extremely bright. I feel like this is a palette that could be quite good for beginners with colours, because you have got a few of the neutral shades, and you've got a classic kind of light colour and a black in there as well, which I think is always key for a palette. Um, so obviously I've never tried this um, on my eyes. I've got the Nude Rose Gold palette from e.l.f. and I do really quite like that one. Um, so I'm intrigued to see how this one goes. From now on you will be getting regular videos from me. We have fully moved into the new house. We now have Wi-Fi. Um, and I've got a lot of videos planned and stuff. So I hope you enjoy. So yeah, I'm going to be playing around with this little palette here. I don't know what colours. I think I'm going to go for the purple tones. That's what's kind of drawing my attention at the moment. So, um, yeah, let's get started. As always, going in with my Lily Lola Eye Primer. I think I'm going to straighten with the colour. So I'm going to take this purple shade right here to begin with. Just on a brush. This is a brush I got from Freedom. So it's just a cheap brush from Superdrug. I'm going to pick a whole, pick a lot of this up. I'm going to start pressing this into the crease area. I find with colours, I think it's good to press on first just to get the real colour down and then blend out afterwards. So I'm going to focus this on the outer portion of the eye. Pretty colour. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush, I have a quite small taper fluffy brush, this is a Luxie uh, 321 small tapered brush, make sure there's no other product on it, and just go ahead and soften these edges. Pick up some more of that lovely purple shade and again pack it on, mainly focusing more on the lid portion now. I'm going to keep that nice blend going. I can always neaten up this edge later, not too worried about that right now. It's really pretty colour big uh, hands up pure fluffy brush just to make sure everything is blended. So it's got absolutely no product on it whatsoever. Okay I'm going to go in now with this kind of brownie purple shade. Same brush again. And again, work this onto the outer portion. So I'm going to start deepening this up. Please ignore these edges, I am going to tidy the other bit of concealer later. I'm just trying to get all the colour down and the blending up top as well. Now that there is a little bit I feel like of patchiness, just a little bit where they're not completely blending together. But I think it is, they're really pretty colours I'd have to say that, I really like it. Maybe I just need some playing around with it yet. I'm going to then... 
take some of that really light shade in the palette on a flat brush. And I'm going to pop this here. Because I want to keep it quite actually plain in the inner corner. And the shade just do a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take a smaller kind of like pencil brush type brush and take the black shade next. And just lightly pack this on the outer corner. I don't want a heavy deepness here, so just a little bit. Pack it on and use the brush I used to lay down the colour initially to blend out because I still have some of those colours on there so it'll just help further with the blend. I'm going to have some fun now, pop this purple, it's kind of more of a cool toned kind of bluey purple, onto the lower lash line. And just stamp it along the lower lash line. This is a contrast of purples I quite like. So you've got a more berry toned um, purples on the lid and then more of a kind of bluey toned purple on the lower lash line. It just gives a bit more, I guess, depth depth to the purple. I'm just using a big foundation brush that's already got a little bit of fun that I use for my foundation just to neaten up those outer portions. Okay so I'm going to finish off with some mascara so I'm going to take the Livy Lolo Mascara And then I'm going to keep it quite simple with lips. This is one of the Kiko uh, um, Creamy Lipsticks in 103. It's just a beautiful kind of nudie pink colour. I think it just tied nicely with the look that I've got going on. So, this is the look complete and the video complete. So I actually do really like this palette, I think you have to work with it a bit more because I think you just need a bit more blending with some of the eyeshadows. But considering how inexpensive it is and how easily accessible it is and like super drug and stuff like that, I do think it's a really good palette and like I said before because with the exception of the orange these aren't like super neon bright so I feel like for beginners who want to experiment, A like I said it's inexpensive and B I feel like they're not too bright of colours for you to start off and play with. Um, and really pretty. I just wish like the lighting showed the true colour of the purple underneath. It's just all looking a bit dark, well, on my viewfinder anyway. So this was the purple that I used under my eyes. So you kind of see. As you can see, it's not, it doesn't swatch that well because they are a bit patchy like I said so it does need a bit more of a blend but I think you can produce some really pretty looks so this is just like a very simple purple look I feel so yeah I've got a colour on my eyes but it's not over intense um, so you can definitely do quite a few looks with this keep it quite neutral with the neutral tones add a pop of orange go for more of the blue and greens and stuff you can mix more of the colours together um, so yeah I actually think this is a reasonably good palette um, so I'll definitely be playing with it again um, if you'd like me to see, if you'd like to see any more looks from this palette, let me know in particular what kind of colour combinations you'd like to see with it. Um, and also leave any requests for future videos down below. So that is this video complete. Like I said, plenty more videos will be coming now. I'm settled. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.